OK, welcome to practice sheet three, um, principally designed to check and test your ability to decide what to do, not so much how to do it. So the questions like this, when you've got a lot of information, check that it's all on the diagram. So AC is eight centimetres, that's on the diagram. AB is three centimetres, that's already labelled. DE is 19, yep, yeah, that's there. All those angles are 90 degrees, you can check, and that's marked on the diagram. BDC is 50 degrees, it's all there. That means I can ignore that now and just focus on the question and look at the diagram. So we want the length of CD, which is this bit here. Um, we're going to start by looking at the hint and figure out where to go from there. So CD is part of a right angle triangle. When you see that, if you want a length, that suggests you can either use Pythagoras, for which you need to know two other sides, or trigonometry, for which you know, need to know one other side and an angle. Which of those can we find out? So let's look at the sides that we've got. Well, BC, I can find that out because it's part of a separate right angle triangle. BD, I can't see how to work that out. So Pythagoras is out the window, but I do have this angle here, 50 degrees, which means I can use trigonometry to find CD. That means first I need to find BC. So that's going to be using Pythagoras. When you use Pythagoras, the first thing to do is write down the equation uh, for the triangle that you're dealing with. So here we're going to write down uh, BC squared, the thing that we want, plus 3 squared, so that's the other short side, is equal to 8 squared. Now remember when you're using Pythagoras, the hypotenuse always appears on its own, so on one side of the equation by itself. Next we're just going to simplify, so 3 squared is 9, uh, 8 squared is 64, and then it's just an equation to solve. So subtract 9, we get BC squared equals 55 and then simply square root both sides. Um, remember, when you're solving with Pythagoras, you always finish with a square root. So BC is the square root of 55. It's worth working that out, so we can do a common sense check. It's 7.4 and a bit centimeters, and that fits because it's longer than three, as it appears on the diagram, and it's shorter than eight. Right, next step, we can think about the triangle including CD. Um, if we think about angle 50 degrees and label sides accordingly, BC is the opposite side. Okay, and we know now that that is root 55. So we know the opposite side, and CD that we want to know is the hypotenuse. So we need a trigonometric ratio which involves the opposite and the hypotenuse. So, of course, that is sine. So write down the relationship. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And then we simply put in the values that we've got. So our angle is 50, so sine 50 degrees um, equals the opposite, which we know is root 55, divided by the hypotenuse, which is CD. Now we don't want CD on the bottom, we want it on the top. It's the thing we're trying to find out, so multiply by CD, which brings it up to the left-hand side. We have CD sine 50 degrees equals root 55. And finally, we don't want the sine 50 degrees there. It's currently multiplying CD, so we need to divide by sine 50 degrees to get rid of it. So we end up with CD is equal to the square root of 55 divided by sine 50 degrees. You can put this straight into your calculator uh, as it's written, either using the fractions button or using the divide button, and we get 9.6811 dot 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 dot. Uh, and then we check, it says three significant figures, so the eight is a third sig fig, and we round it as uh, 9.68 centimetres. Right, next part, um, we want to calculate the length of CE, so this length here. Now the hint that's given here is that we should notice straight away that CE is part of a triangle which is not right angled. So we can't use sine, cos or tan in the normal way, but we can use the sine or cosine rule. And the best way to decide which of these to use is always to write down the sides or angles that you know, and the one that you want to know. Okay, so for this triangle, do we know the bottom angle? Well, 90 minus 50 is 40. So yes, that angle there is 40 degrees. So let's start writing down the facts we know. Um, we know that angle CDE is 40 degrees. Do we know any other angles in that triangle? No. Okay, but do we know any sides? Well, yes, we know that CD is what we just worked out. That's 9.68 centimetres. Um, we know DE. That's labelled nicely on the diagram. 
so DE is 19 centimeters. Do we know any more sides? Well, there's only one more side, and that's the one that we want. So now we write down the things that we want to know. We want CE. Okay, so I need something that involves one angle and three sides. And we should realize that three sides and an angle is what's included in the cosine rule. So that's what we're going to use. So let's write it down. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times sine theta, uh, sine A rather. And the thing to bear in mind here is that the side that's on its own, A in this case, is the one that's opposite the angle that you're using. Okay, so looking at our diagram, the angle measured there is 40 degrees. The side that's opposite that is CE. That's the one that we want. So CE appears on its own, and we have one of the sides squared. So we'll start with um, uh, CD, which is uh, 9.6811 uh, 9 squared. Um, the other side squared, which is 19 squared, minus 2 times 9.68111. I'm just putting the whole value in there, uh, times 19 times, oh, <laughs> OK. Uh, oops, my mistake. Um, I've kind of ruined the cosine rule because I've put sine in there. Okay, so let's correct that. Um, it's the cosine rule after all, so let's use cosine, which is much more appropriate. Sorry about that. Um, so we finish by multiplying by cos of our angle, which is 40 degrees. In any case, we can stick this in the calculator and work out the value of CE squared. And for these two values here, 9.68 dot 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 dot, we're going to use the exact value from our calculator. We just worked it out, so it's there. If you use the ANTS key, it'll give you the value. So typing in ANTS squared plus 19 squared minus 2 times ANTS times 19 times cos 40 degrees, we get 172.90, and on it goes. We remember that this is CE squared, not CE. So if we square root uh, that, we're going to get CE is 13 and a bit. And we remember as in part A, we've been asked to give the answer to three significant figures. So the third sig fig is the one. It doesn't round up. It stays as 13.1 centimetres. And that is our answer to three sig figs.